Hello, welcome to Vigo Academy for another session of our Java course. In this session, we are going to talk about the array list and the linked list. So, an array is a collection of items stored at contiguous memory. So, the word contiguous memory is important here. The idea is to store multiple items of the same type together. However, the limitation of array is that uh, the size of the array is predefined and fixed. But yeah, uh, there are some solutions to address this problem. And on the other other hand, uh, linked list is a linear data structure where the element are not stored in a contiguous location. So the major difference so far in our discussion between the uh, array list and a linked list is that linked list is a data structure. Uh, array list is a data structure, but the difference is the main difference so far is that array list uh, is a uh, con uh, contiguous memory data structure, but the linked list is not contiguous uh, uh, contiguous memory data structure. So every element is a separate object uh, with the data part and the address part. Uh, any linked list. Okay, so let me uh, show you a picture that will uh, clear you the more concept about the array list and the linked list. Okay, so this is uh, array list and this is linked list. Look, so in case of array list, uh, the memory is contiguous. So let's say this memory is uh, 100, so it will be. 101, 102, and so on. And unique thing about the array is that the first index will be the zero, then one, two, three, and the last index will always be the size minus one. So if we want to access uh, an element of the array, we can use index. On the other hand, this is a linked list. So linked list. Uh, in this case, the linked list is a double linked list. For example, the two is a separate object having data part. As I said, data part is two and the address part. Address part means uh, two, uh, in this node, the head node, uh, an address part is here, which is uh, also, you can say a pointer, which is pointing to this node. It means the address part here, uh, stores the address of this node have containing the 23 data and this is and the 23 uh, node is called the next node of this node containing the data 2 and the data 2 node is called the previous node of the 23 node so this is the structure of doubly linked list doubly means it is pointing uh, next and uh, every every node of the linked list is have a next node and the previous node. So in the so simple is that in the case of array list there is the concept of indexes. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the memory is contiguous. But in the case of linked list, every object or is called you, you it is it is called a node. For example, this is a node containing two and the uh, next node of this node is the this node containing the 23 and the previous node of this node is the 2 okay so every node have a data part and uh, address part address part contains the next node address and the previous nodes address so let's move towards the coding part okay so these are the modules uh, array list linked list and the list so uh, linked list and array list are the uh, subclasses of the list, and these these are uh, differences. Uh, let let's check them. Array list internally uses a dynamic array to store its element, while linked list is used doubly linked list to store its element. Array list is slow as array manipulation is slower. Okay, linked list is faster, being node based. Is not much bit shift, shifting requires. For example, if a next node come, it will attach here. Okay, and next node come, it will attach here. And if we move, then we can simply move the end node that is on the tail or that is on the head. 
it really depends on the cases but in the uh, uh, ray case we need to shrink the size of ray or we need to double the size of ray and in this uh, shuffling we need to shuffle all the data from one ray to the for example the shrunk ray or the ray from shrunk ray to the expanded ray so it's so a lot of bit shifting is there that's why it's costly and slow while in case of linked list it's fast and it is less costly than the array list okay so that was all the uh, concept background so let's move for the coding part okay let me first make uh, object of a list list uh, let's say work with the string list is equal to new uh, list okay so now this object is the array list so we can simply use the add function add the data because it's it's a uh string type so let's add this string data let's say a a we can use uh, function again let's say bb now let's print the array uh, list let me run this code okay you can say a a b b so this a is on zero three next and this bb is on first index or one one index okay we can also remove the a or bb uh, we can use a function inbuilt function remove so there are so many functions yeah uh, uh, th these are simply explorable so i'm just showing you the add and remove function for now remove and we'll pass here object that we want to remove let's say uh, a a okay now let's print this okay firstly it was a bb but when i call the remove function and pa i pass the object that i want to remove the a so it remove the a and the new list is the bb so this is the array list so let's make another object that will contain the link list string let's say okay so functions are same list one let's say add a list one dot add again let's say b let's print this list one let me just uh, comment the array list print so that we can ah sorry this one okay so i just made a link list and i add a and b so you can say a and b but the, in this case this is a separate node this is a separate node okay in this case this is head node this is tail node uh, ev uh, in every link list starting node is always the head node ending node ending node is always the tail node and uh, we we can uh, add uh, another uh, uh, node as well so you can say a c and then if we'll print this So in this case, C is the tail node, A is the head node, and B is the node between head and tail. So there can be multiple nodes between head and tail. So you can also remove 
the the uh, let's say uh, move the C. I will print this this one which is list object again. Then let's check what will happen. So B is now removed. So that was all for this session, and I hope it it uh, everything uh, was clear in this session. Uh, so basically, the the recap of the lecture is that. ArrayList is a contiguous uh, data structure, contiguous memory data structure, but taking this is not a contiguous data, uh, memory data structure. Every uh, actually linking list is composed of the uh, node. For example, this is another node, this is separate node, this is separate node. But in this case, uh, this is contiguous, so it is whole just one data structure. So uh, array manipulation is uh, slow while linked list manipulation is fast and uh, this doubly linked list uh, every node is pointing to next node uh, and uh, there is previous node as well of every node uh, but in this case uh, we use the indexing concept indexing concept is here first index is zero then one then two three four and so on last index is always the size minus one index so that was all for this session